Girl Queen on one hand, Pussy Boss on the other. This is a matter on which I found it very difficult to form an opinion. Ambivalence is brave. No, it's not. You just don't understand my statement because, because of your it's accent. A matter of what? What? First off, I think we should mention that neither one of us is a member of the communities to whom these words matter. Just to give our listeners the whole truth. We're no experts. If you want the good stuff, please check out the works of our source, Amy, Amy Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Now, you can have the center of the Venn diagram represented by... Would you like to... A girl queen pussy boss. I could tell you wanted to be the one to say I it. I don't have many chances to let loose. Though such individuals exist, most fall into either the category of a girl queen... Or a pussy boss. Describe the difference. They're very similar. To the untrained eye, of course. Of course. Upon research, the term pussy boss is an older title. One of the oldest there is, along with bruh and mama. Indeed. The pussy boss is defined as someone not possessing a pussy, but as someone running shit with the spirit of one possessing said genitalia. And this is where laureates in the field make a, a common, common mistake. mistake. These qualities have been carelessly ascribed to a girl queen. Elaborate. The girl queen, I have found, is often, not always, but often, uh, one who embodies the respect but garnered as a birthright. The difference of power expressed through monarchy on one hand and capitalism on the other. Glad I don't have to choose between the lesser of two shivals. It's a privilege. I don't think you should have to choose between